Hello everyone and welcome to this presentation of the Kinetic Advantage. My name is Thomas and I'll be your host for today's presentation. At this time I would like to do a test for picture and sound. So if you can see the projection, I am projecting, and can hear my voice, please type a Y into the room now. And it looks like I'm coming in loud and clear. And I'd like to start off by stating it is important to understand that there is substantial risk in trading commodity futures contracts. You should carefully consider whether such trading is suitable for you and will depend on your specific circumstances and financial resources. It is possible to lose all funds deposited with your broker and could even incur losses beyond these amounts. Please inquire at brokerage support at ninsure.com for more information or for a copy of the CFTC Full Risk Disclosure. Also, please remember that these training webinars are not a solicitation nor a recommendation, but simply educational in nature. And if at any time during this presentation you need to know more about the features of Kinetic, you can view our features page at the link I'll be posting in the room. As well, Kinetic is a data feed provider only for the NinjaTrader 7 platform. If you have not downloaded the NinjaTrader 7 platform, I do invite you to download it today. And if at any time you do need support or help with sales with Kinetic, you can reach the support and sales queue at the link I'll be posting in the room. And today's session will last between 45 minutes with some question time at the end. And we'll start off with an introduction to Net Kinetic by answering the question, what is Kinetic? And then we'll cover some of the features and benefits of Kinetic. So whether you're a current subscriber or you're just curious about data feeds, we'll show you how Kinetic can give your trading an advantage. And then we'll fire up NinjaTrader 7 and I'll show you how to connect to Kinetic for free. And we'll also connect to a live real-time account and see some live data in a chart, the Superdome, the news window, level two window, and we'll also see how we can set up the Globex non-pro fees. And towards the end of our presentation, we'll also head over to the Kinetic webpage and go over some of the purchase options available with a Kinetic real-time subscription. And I would like this to be an interactive webinar, so I'll pause from time to time and answer any questions you may have. My only request is that you keep those questions on topic so that the webinar runs smoothly. If I'm unable to answer any questions or they require a little more time, I may ask you to submit them to support at kinetic.com, where we have a full staff of support and sales representatives waiting to answer any questions you may have. If there are any preliminary questions, please go ahead and type those into the room at this time. So I'm not seeing any preliminary questions coming in here, so I'd like to get started with today's presentation. First thing I'd like to start off by noting is that Kinetic is the ultimate data solution. Kinetic is a data feed provider exclusively for the NinjaTrader 7 platform. In fact, Kinetic is the preferred data feed provider for NinjaTrader So Kinetic offers NinjaTrader 7 users over 50,000 instruments and symbols, including futures instruments. So Kinetic supports all major U.S. futures exchanges, including the CME Group, the CBOT, NYMEX, and the COMEX, along with 10 international futures exchanges, including the Bircham Malaysia and others. As well, Kinetic offers Forex data from FXCM, Barclays, and Tenfor, including more exotic pairs like Spot Gold and Silver. Kinetic also offers Forex data from several banks and regions, as well as composite symbols that combine data from several banks. You'll also have access to U.S. and Canadian stocks from all major exchanges, including the NYSE, or the New York Stock Exchange, the NASDAQ, the NYSE market, formerly known as the Amex Exchange, and the Toronto Stock Exchange in Canada. As well, with Kinetic, you'll have access to thousands of indexes, which are included with every subscription, as well as over 500 market metrics, which we'll discuss a little more a little bit later today. So all of the exchanges I just mentioned are available from Kinetic and fed directly into your NinjaTrader 7 platform. So next, I want to talk about what makes Kinetic different, how Kinetic truly boosts your NinjaTrader 7 experience, and how Kinetic can benefit you in your trading. So all data from Kinetic is true tick-by-tick -tick data, and this is not the case with many providers. In fact, many providers only report some of the transactions that occur, and this is referred to as filtered data. Kinetic data is completely unfiltered. So you're getting each and every tick and trade reported directly to you from the exchange with no filtering involved. So I'm going to have a comparison here. I have a unfiltered numerical sequence followed by a filtered numerical sequence. 
With the filtered numerical sequence, we can see that we are missing quite a few data points within that series. Now, why is this important to you? This is a 100 tick chart for the 6C future. So each of these bars is made up of 100 ticks from the exchange. We could see on this particular day of trading that the price action comes down and tests a clearly defined level of support five times before taking off into a 60 point spike. With the unfiltered data from Kinetic, we can rest assured that the price activity that we see on our charts will give us the most accurate representation of the price action at the exchange. So in this image, we see that the 60 currency feature repeatedly testing a very specific support level and then lift off that support level to take nearly 60 ticks. In this next screenshot, I show the same setup with a few ticks removed to show you just how little filtering can make a huge difference. Here you can see the entire trade has changed, the support level isn't clear, and we missed that fifth touch before the spike because the ticks were being filtered out by our data provider. So if we were trying to trade off this data series with the filter ticks, then we may have missed that trade opportunity because our data provider did filter out this data. Filtered data can also have implementations on where you put your stops and profit targets, as well as affecting your indicators. So filtering data matters, and that's why we've chosen to only provide unfiltered data through Kinetic. Now, as well with Kinetic, another advantage over the broker-provided data is the extensive historical data. Kinetic offers far more historical data than most providers. In fact, many providers have a very limited amount of historical data, they don't offer certain types of historical data, or they simply don't offer historical data at all. So, with Kinetic, you'll get 180 days of unfiltered historical tick data, far more than most providers. This includes data for tick charts, range, and volume charts, as well as second and ring field charts, all built using historical tick data. This will allow you to build those tick-based charts back 180 days from the current date. As well, if you are building custom indicators or strategies, having access to 180 days of tick data will allow you to backtest those indicators or strategies on a tick-based interval back to 180 days. You'll also get at least two years of minute data for all minute interval charts. And for more popular instruments, you'll have access to much more minute data, in some cases more than five years worth. As well, you'll get at least 10 years of daily data to populate and access daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly data. Again, much more for more popular instruments. And as Sirius Trader knows, quality historical data is extremely important for populating some indicators accurately. And of course, backtesting requires extensive quality data to backtest on. Now, Kinetic draws from professionally managed, fully redundant data servers. What that means is that there are at least two data servers in separate locations performing every single function. In the event that one of these is powered down for any reason, you can rest assured that there is another data server backing up the primary data service functions. So even if you're using Kinetic as a backup to your data feed, now your backup data has a backup. And Kinetic has been built into and optimized for the NinjaShare 7 platform. And this is one of the reasons that Kinetic is the preferred data feed provider for NinjaTrader 7. And because Kinetic is built directly into the NinjaTrader platform, there is no need for an API. By building the Kinetic adapter into the software, it's made the data feed essentially a part of NinjaTrader 7. And this eliminates the software barrier standing between you and the exchanges. So to drive this concept home, I want to bring back an image I showed you earlier. In this image, I showed the data coming from the exchanges into Kinetic and then into NinjaTrader. However, since Kinetic is built into the NinjaTrader 7 platform, meaning that unlike many other providers, the data has no extra API layers, there are no unnecessary steps between your, the exchange and your machine, delivering the data directly from the exchange to you in fractions of a second. As well with Kinetic, there are market metrics which are marked statistics that are calculated on Kinetic's own data service and based on real-time performance of component stocks from major indexes and changes. So for those of you that are interested in market breadth and metrics, those are available from Kinetic. Data like tick, trend, put call ratios, volume up, volume down, 
and net issues are all available. In fact, you'll automatically get access to over 500 market metrics in real time with any subscription to Kinetic. You can view a list of those market metrics at the link I'll be posting in the room. And many of these are updated every second, while other providers only update their metrics every 10 seconds, if they offer them at all. So I want to take a few moments here to show you why updating the metrics every second is so important. So we're going to switch over to a chart here. And on this chart, we have three data series. We have a one second data series for the net issues, a 10 second data series for the net issues, and a one tick of the NASDAQ composite index. We can see that there's a big drop in the price level of this index, and there's three gradual down ticks in net issues. The 10 second is missing quite a bit of data in the price increments if we only have access to that data on a 10 second basis. So as well with Kinetic, you'll get much broader markets covered. Brokers will typically provide data to facilitate your trading of a live account. So even if you only trade one market type, you'll still have access to other markets that, markets that your broker doesn't provide data for. So for an example, if you only trade futures, you may still hold some long-term positions in a stock, say an IRA, or you're just curious to see how Apple or Google stock has been doing. And to continue this example, you can also take a look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average or any other market metrics to see how they've been faring in the past several weeks. Now, as well, with any subscription to Kinetic, you'll get free news from three different sources. And a little bit later, we'll open up the NinjaTrader news window, and we can show you how we can get the news to populate from that news window. As well, Kinetic users have the option to choose from three, four premium news services. Again, a little later, I'll show you how we can do things like filter out the data only show reports having to do with symbols we're interested in, and even send alerts through NinjaTrader if a story breaks about those symbols. Now, you can use that built-in news window to access these directly within your platform. Now, Kinetic can be also be used as a backup to your broker's data feed. NinjaTrader does support multiple connections. And you can use Kinetic with any NinjaTrader license key and supplement any brokerage account. So even if you're satisfied with your broker's data, I like to always have a backup and Kinetic can easily be set up to be a backup to my broker's data. And I'll show you a little demo of how this works in just a few minutes here. And last but certainly not least, Kinetic data is also very competitively priced and offers many pricing options. The free end of day connection is always free, allowing you access to historical daily data for all instruments. I'll show you how we can connect to that momentarily. And if you're interested in futures, you could save $361 a month on market data fees. So if you're paying those fees with your data feed provider, we'll stop. You may not need to pay those anymore with Kinetic. And our real-time quote services start as low as $55 a month. You'll get access to metrics, thousands of indexes, and free news from three different sources. As well, we will also show you how you can save money on the futures exchanges if you have a live license key and a fully funded account with a supported futures brokerage through the Globex non pro fees. We'll discuss this a little later on. I want to switch over to my chart now. I'm going to fire up NinjaTrader here and we're going to take a look at some kinetic live data and some end of day data in a chart. So the end of day connection is built into every installation of NinjaTrader 7 and is completely free to connect to. From this connection, we'll be able to access historical daily data for all symbols. So to connect to the end of day connection, we're going to go to File, Connect, and choose Kinetic End of Day. Once we have Kinetic or connected, we'll see Connected Kinetic at the bottom here. So now that we're connected, we can access historical daily data in a chart or even backtest against daily data. So let's open a chart now. And to do that, I'm going to go to my control center. I'm going to go to File, New, and select Chart. Now, I want to create a chart for the Apple instrument. So I'm going to type in AAPL at the top here. I'm going to press New. And now I'm going to change it from a minute time frame over to a daily time frame. I'm going to press OK now. 
And now we have our daily chart open for the Apple instrument. So with this end of day connection, we can access futures, Forex, stocks, indexes, and even the market metrics daily data. So let's load another chart this time, but we're going to do it using the on the fly method. So I'll just start typing directly into the chart. And this time I want to load a futures instrument. So I want to load the ES and I'm going to use the pound symbol, pound symbol, dash, pound symbol, pound symbol. Now the pound symbol, pound symbol, dash, pound symbol, pound symbol, symbol indicated that I've used here means that I'm loading a continuous contract. Kinetic provides continuous contracts for all futures instruments. A continuous contract will automatically show the front month data without rolling over the contract manually and will automatically merge previous month, expired months creating, as the name suggests, one continuous contract. So as we can see on our chart here, we have daily data loaded for the ES continuous contract. And again, you can do this all for free. So I'm going to load my control center back up here and I'm going to disconnect from our end of day connection. So I'm going to go to file, disconnect, choose kinetic end of day. And now let's connect to a kinetic live connection. So I'm going to go to file, connect, and choose kinetic. Now I want to bring up that ES chart that we have here once more, but I want to access this on a one minute interval. So I'm going to go up to my interval section here. I'm going to choose one minute. And now we can see our ES continuous contract on one minute data. Now we can also change this to five minute data. And we can view it on a five minute interval. And we can also choose to look at tick data. So if I want to view a 150 tick chart, for example, I'll type in the value 150 T using that same on the fly method by just typing directly into the chart. I'll press enter here. So we'll take a second to load. But once it's loaded, we'll have a 150 tick chart loaded for the ES continuous contract. So as we can see here, we have our 150 tick chart loaded now. Now, let's say I also want to load a range chart. I'll type in the value 4 for 4 range, and then I'll type in the value of R for range. I'll press OK here, and now we have a four range chart open. So we can also add an index or a market metrics to our chart here, and I want to add the Dow Jones Industrial Average to my chart. So I'm going to use that same on the fly method. I'm going to put type the value plus, meaning that we're adding another symbol to this same chart window. I'm going to type in the value of DJIA. And then I want this on a one minute interval. So I'm going to type in the value one M I'll press enter here. And now we have the Dow Jones industrial average loaded on our chart here. Now I'm going to close out of my chart window here. And now I want to load my Superdome show so I can show you the depth of market. So I'm going to go to file new, choose the Superdome, and from the drop down, I'm going to select the ES, and when we have the ES selected, or any instrument that we have market depth enabled for, we can see the depth of market on either side. Now, additionally, we can see level 2 data, or market depth, in the level 2 window, so I'll close out of the Superdome here, I'll go to File, New, choose the level 2 window, and as we can see, Right now it is blank, so I'll right mouse click, select instruments, and now I'll select the ES, and we can see our level two information for the ES. Now as well, we can look at a stock or equities level two information. So I'll right mouse click, go to instruments, scroll down to select here, and now I'm gonna type in the value of AAPL. I'll press enter, or okay, and now we can see the level two information for the Apple stock. Now I'm going to close out of my level two window and now as I mentioned earlier we can see live news being fed directly into our platform from that NinjaTrader news window. So to open the NinjaTrader news window we're going to go to file, new, select news, 
And as you can see, we have our news window loaded up here. So we can see that news is coming in directly. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we can set up filters. So for example, let's say I want to set up a filter to only show news stories having to do with or mentioning Apple. So I'll right mouse click, select add filter. I'll give this filter a name of AAPL. And then the keyword, I'm going to enter AAPL as well. I'll press OK here. And now when I want to access my filter, I'll go to my filter dropdown, select AAPL. And as we can see, we have all these stories that are appearing about Apple. So the first one says analyst actions Apple. So we can see that our stories are appearing about Apple. Now, let's say a new news story is coming in about Apple, and I want it to send me an alert every time that there's a new news story about Apple. I can right mouse click, select Add Alert. I'll give the name of AAPL as well. I'll use the keyword AAPL. I'll press OK. Now I need to check the box next to AAPL. Once I have that box selected, every time that there's a new news story about Apple, that will appear in our news window here. So like I said, we get news from three different sources and there are other avail others available when you are purchasing a subscription to Kinetic. So I'm going to close out of my news window here. And the next thing I want to discuss is how we can go over the purchase options. So I'm going to switch back to my slideshow here. And the first thing we'll see when we're checking out is we have two options, the end of day connection, which is always free, and our real-time connection, which is a basic service, starts at $55 a month. After that, we'll be brought to this page, and this is the page which we'll be covering a little more in depth in the next few slides, but this is the page where we want to select our exchanges to see our real-time and historical data for our exchanges. So by default, the basic service is selected, so you won't need to check that. If you want to increase your symbols up to 200 symbols, you can select that here. And this is viewing simultaneously. You can also choose to view up to 500 symbols. You can also choose if you want to see level 2 data to add market depth for $20. And then as well, you have the option to add four additional premium news services. Now, when you want to receive real-time data, you'll need to select the exchange. So we have the Forex exchanges and the Stocks and Futures exchanges. And you can email us directly at sales at kinetic.com if you're unsure about the symbol and what the exchange is. And if you qualify for the Globex non-pro fees, and to qualify, you'll need a live NinjaTrader license key and a fully funded account with a supported futures brokerage, you can see reduced fees on the CME, CBOT, COMEX, and the NYMEX. Now, those are our pricing options there. And the next thing I want to discuss is how we can activate the Globex non-pro feeds, because this is a common question I see when someone is eligible for the Globex non-pro fees. So the Globex non-pro validation will require a live license key and a fully funded account with a supported futures brokerage. So the first thing we'll need to do is set up our connection, kinetic connection to participate in the Globex non-pro fees. So first we're going to go to Tools and then select Account Connections. After selecting Account Connections, we'll want to select Kinetic from the drop-down list. After selecting Kinetic, we'll choose Manage Existing Connection. After choosing Manage Existing Connection, we'll press Next, and then we'll want to select Next again. After going to the general page. We'll then be taken to the kinetic page where we will want to select the tick box, uh, tick box option for participate in the Globex non-pro fees. After this, we will receive a pop-up notifying us that we will need to validate monthly for our Globex non-pro fees. So after checking yes, we can select next and then we can select finish. We'll then want to connect to both our live connection and our kinetic connection. So we're going to go to File, Connect, and choose our live connection, such as NinjaTrader Continuum, from the drop down. And then we'll connect to our kinetic connection by going to File, Connect, and selecting Kinetic. After this, we can go to our log tab of the Control Center 
once we have connected to both connections and we should be able to see a message at the top there that says kinetic globex non profis eligibility verified server validation successful for our connection so right now it's showing me to connect continuum because that was the connection i used so I want to thank everyone for joining me today. I understand that Tracer's time is his or her most valuable resource. I appreciate you choosing to spend that time with me.